guys, how you guys doing? I actually had a crazy, crazy month from mid November to early December that I had my parents over here, and it was very first time that my parents visited me in the U.S. It was kind of crazy. It was. It felt like unreal that I saw them at my house, <laughs> and I traveled them around like. Showing like where I live and what I have nearby. We went to California, and I don't know. It was just like really busy, crazy, lovely, and everything, everything combined. And as a result, I have a sty. It's like a sty after a sty. <laughs> I think my immune system is kind of a little bit messed up being too busy and try to do so much at all at once. So I wanted to put some nice makeup on my face because I am in the mood of Christmas, as you see. <laughs> my ugly sweater. Um, well, I couldn't put any makeup on my face. I hope you guys don't mind it. <laughs> And I have a great news that I wanted to share with you that I have more than 500 subscribers! Yay! <laughs> I am really 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 grateful for you guys um, your support means everything and like I read all the comments and try to like communicate with you guys after seeing your comments and it was so touching that everyone tried to like share their feelings and thoughts with me and try to give me really like sweet and kind words I my heart was really fully warmed so I I don't know I just wanted to say thank you so so much um, yeah it means it means a lot to me <laughs> especially struggling having some community I guess in this YouTube world for a little while I think it's really 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 slow I think I'm really way slower than many other channels the, about the growth speed and stuff but slowly but surely I think it's gaining a little more people who can align with me <laughs> so thank you thank you so much and today I want to draw something with ink and I also brought some interesting topic I don't know it's probably a crazy thought and maybe most of you guys can understand what I am trying to deliver what the message that I'm trying to deliver to you guys because I think I ramble a lot in my head and I don't know it was so hard to explain what it is with words but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this conversation <laughs> with me or like mono dialogue whatever <sighs> okay let's go check it out go go from November to early December I had my parents over here in America. It had been 4 years since the last time I'd seen my parents in person in 2019 and they never visited me after I moved to the States. So it was very very meaningful time for me. And of course, it did make me think about lots of things. Let me share one of the things that sat in my mind for over a month. I felt so much love that came from my parents while they were here. It felt a bit weird because after a certain age, I'd always wanted to be independent from them. I went to high school that had a dorm, so I guess since then I'd wanted to be away from them. But throughout a month of the time they visited this year, I became more and more dependent. <laughs> I wanted my mom's food so much, I chatted a lot with them, my house felt finally warmed up after moving in for two years by my parents. And of course I cried a bit after sending them off back to Korea. I was super sad that a month flew by so quickly and we had to say goodbye. Like I never wanted to be away from them. Isn't it interesting? If there is anyone who has similar experience with me, did you also feel the same way as I did? 
I am not super sure if you remember that I talked about the purpose of us humans' existence in this universe. If you haven't checked that video yet, I will put the card up there so you can think about the topic and share your thoughts about it with me. Anyways, back to the topic. This family visiting event has made me think about this topic again. What is the purpose of us being in this universe? Not too long time ago, I accidentally watched a YouTube video that was showing how tiny the Earth is, how far we are from different galaxies in this whole universe. And it seemed like no matter how hard we try to develop our science, it's too far that we would never be able to actually reach to another galaxy. I mean, we know that the universe is immense, but the video I watched gave me some visual scenes with moving in light year speed. That was, that was kind of scary. <laughs> and unrelated to this video, but I also heard that some people think the universe or the universe's energy doesn't really intend anything. They don't really have any purpose and they feel indifferent to us. We're smaller than anything we can think of in this whole universe. But really? Then why do we happen to be here? And love really came from nothing? Even animals have some kind of love to each other. Some animals do love humans. And humans also always have love all throughout the history. We care about one another and we put love as one of the most valuable things. Are you sure it's not intended by anything or anyone? If we are that small, nothing better than some dust in the universe, then why has love been passed by us creatures? It makes us leave. It makes us want to leave. I think there gotta be something that the universe wants us to deliver throughout love. Not just for reproducing. <laughs> this interesting chemical movement should matter for the life of the universe. Maybe it's one of the main fuels that the universe keeps expanding? I definitely think that love is some kind of magic power. Am I crazy? Maybe. <laughs> I'm not religious, but I do want to believe that everything has some kind of purpose. And this thought helps me going through some tough time. Maybe it's just an illusional thought to keep my heads up during the hard time? Maybe. But well, it doesn't harm me. And I want to believe in love, even if nothing remains and no one would care or remember me after I die. I have seen so many things that are called miracle started from love. Love is the essential ingredient for almost everything. But how do we love well? That was the next question that hit my mind. Okay, I got that love is amazing and it has some magical power even if we don't understand why love exists in this universe, at least in this tiny planet. But, but then, what does it mean to love well? There are many different types of love. You can just simply be super sweet towards the object or sometimes you need to be strict. Sometimes you love yourself too much that you become selfish. Sometimes you sacrifice yourself too much for others that you make yourself vanish. In the past, love for others were one of the most valuable things, but these days many people insist loving yourself should always be on your top priority. Some parents become too protective to their children, others become too careless. And 
and sometimes it even seems like love and hate are super close to each other. What is the right way to love? Guys, unfortunately, I have no answer for it now. Even just this tiny earth is so complicated. I have been thinking about the relationships between people, looking at myself and studying about myself, comparing myself to others, accepting and admitting different things about me and other people. I thought I finally found a way to get to the point of a good person and good life. But I guess I'm not there. I'm far away from there. <laughs> I am questioning about love that human history already defined through the whole history and I feel like I'm so lost. <laughs> well, at least now I learned that big ingredients of most of the creatures is love. Duh. So I'll think from there. It seems like I came back to the start of a long journey, but now I finally feel like I got the direction. Will you guys join me? That's it for today. Please share your thought about the topic that I talked about in this video. You might be perplexed that I rambled big big time, <laughs> but if any of you somehow got what I tried to share, Please share your thoughts and ideas. I'm very curious about them. Thanks so much for everything you guys. I really appreciate you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet and enjoy this video. <laughs> and hitting the notification button so we don't miss each other. I hope to see you in the next one. Happy holidays!